didn't even show up for the meeting. You know, we are people in a city and a state in dire distress. And this upside down flag is a U.S. flag code approved signal of this. It, it, it should be flown by every citizen in this state. You saw again Friday that there will be never, never be any reform of APD. And we're a disgrace to the nation. And, and Ginger and the DOJ, Brack, they like it that way. Now more money is being wasted on, on a required judge to help. And uh, by the way, Bill Slauson is also being sued by Ronaldo Chavez. In case you didn't know it. Will you blindly approve $50 million that you need for our tax dollars for repairing of our roads and infrastructure to pay for this boondoggle art that you know is unjustified? Our water weight rates will also go up. It's another insulting middle, very middle finger pointed at us. If you betray us again, this time on the right, I urge every one of you citizens to write directly to Congress in Washington and demand that they not approve the ARC funds. Mayor Barry and his equally corrupt minions are laughing behind your backs, deeming you as just go, go on fools. Have the integrity to, to give them all a no confidence vote, and we're talking about these people here, Eden with a no show, hiding in his rat hole, and Mayor Barry. I mean, you should be you should be disgusted with them, but you go along. Do your jobs. Do your damn jobs. Paul Ross, Julie Stevens, David Vogel, and Joseph McGuire. Mr. Loss. Um, so the owners of the banners, I have, I have to ask you to, to remove those from the chambers. So if you could please, please remove those or if you can personally carry them with you, but you can't drape them over the... the, the Where do I get these? I would like, I, so I have to give you a, a, a warning about that. So the, the request to and Mr. Lush just the TVs are not on. The request to remove that is uh, not the, the volume uh, and all that. Is, is the first warning. If you, if you don't remove the move it, then we'll ask the security to remove it for you. Uh, you commit hey, the crime. You commit the crime right here. Warning, yes. Then we are going to ask you. Now it is, the is a, right. simply a disruption of the meeting. And so, if we're disrupting the meeting, I have to ask you. Well, to so we'll ask you. We're yeah, just unless you remove the remove the banners or you can remove yourself, yes, and that's the second. Because that's the United States flag, isn't it? So it wouldn't be a banner, would it be? It's a U.S. flag. It's a U.S. flag. It's a United it's States flag. It's not a banner. It's not a banner. Yeah, okay, I'm going to ask you that you, you can't speak in the chambers. Uh, this is not the time for the public to speak. I'll give you an opportunity to speak in a moment. But I am going to enforce the role of rules that this council has set up in these chambers. And uh, so that's a, a second warning. Actually, more than a second warning. I'm going to go ahead and ask our security team to remove those banners. Then I'll take the flag off the podium. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to maintain order here. If you disrupt, then I'm going to, you're know, more than welcome to change. Do you have an officer at the podium? And again, I would simply ask you uh, to, to, to not disturb the public meeting. And, uh, I didn't disturb the meeting, sir. It was a fan. Uh, yeah, I'm not asking you. I'm not, I'm not asking for a comment. Mr. Sorry. President, would you please give them a warning and then a second warning? You make them from the chamber? That's what it's done. Yeah, they've got two warnings already. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and leave the chambers. Okay. Security, if you go ahead and escort them out of the chambers. Thank you. <coughs> We support you, Sylvia. Who do you count? We'll go on the meeting. I don't know if I mean, Mr. Staff, if you want to comment on, on, on the council rules of the forum, or uh, our council attorney, if you could, this was a lot of um, Mr. President, the rules are pretty clear that um, uh, no disturbances of any sort will be, will be allowed in the council chambers. And uh, the procedure is that upon the first disturbance, you issue a verbal warning. 
and a second warning, and upon the third, the um, uh, security will be asked to escort the uh, third party out. The, uh, the party is uh, required to leave the meeting, but may come back for future meetings over the next Okay, and if anybody, again, I'm going to ask you to not make comments in the chambers. Um, you know, we're, going to, we're going to do everything I can to make sure that we follow the rules of decorum in this meeting, and I'm going to enforce those rules. And, um, uh, and I believe that, again, we're within our, every right of this council to be able to do so. And so if you feel a need to, to speak out, I, I will give you a warning, and I will do the same thing. I'm going to give you a second warning, and I'll ask you to leave. And if you cause a disturbance, I'm going to ask the you know, security to ask for you out of the chambers. So thank you. And again, the whole point of this is to ensure that every single person who comes here tonight gets an opportunity to share your opinion uh, without being interrupted. And uh, we want to ensure, ensure that you're treated fairly and you have an opportunity to share your opinion.